What is up everyone, Mr. Banda Power here, and I am back with another episode of State of Decay 2. Now, this time, it's a solo episode because, hey, uh, I gotta get some more solo episodes in. I mean, it's nice having my friend, but sometimes you just gotta do it solo, so that's what I'm doing today, and yes, I am using, uh, I am using a different mic today. My secondary mic, uh, so that's why I kind of sound like this. I wanted to switch it up again because, uh, I was getting a little annoyed with my previous mic just because of the way it picks up so much sound. I mean, I'm still going to use it because it's still good, but, yeah, I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Anyways, uh, I recruited someone new. This is, uh, Carp right here. She is... Very new to the community. You get to see her stats right here. Yep, right here. And uh, I think I want to keep her around. She provides a pretty good, uh, you know, like, uh, hero bonus. Two extra beds. That's uh, always nice. Which gives me an idea of it. Or... Hmm. Man... Oh, I don't know if I want to do that, though, because, uh, I don't have anyone with, like, utility skills, so I can't do the whole hydroponics thing. Oh, crap, wait, I forgot to see her skill that she has. She actually has a pretty good skill. She has fishing, provides two food a day. That is always a good skill. That's actually a pretty rare skill to find, uh, when you're recruiting a survivor, you know? Anyways... Uh, there is a red talon agent that is in trouble. Uh, also, something I forgot to point out in my last two episodes with my friend, mostly because I got distracted, uh, the new update to the game not only brought new bounties to get new weapons and facility mods and all that, but they made it, more, they made it to where, like, if you have a suppressor to your weapon, it decreases the power of your weapon. Like, this Arctic Warrior is, like, one of the most powerful guns in the game, but if I equip the suppressor, the power's gonna drop by half. And, but the quietness will go up, so you determine the trade-off. But I think I'm just gonna have her fire her gun without any suppressor on it anymore. Because that's how I want to do things. Alright, I'm actually gonna play as Carp, so I can level her up a little bit more. Alright. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, I'm gonna take someone with me. Uh, where's uh? No, I don't know if I want to take you out. You're also too valuable to lose. Um, uh, is there anyone that is? Well, no, that's Maria. Is there literally no one? Ah, oh, come on. Alright. Anyways, let's just pack some weapons and go. Not gonna use that, because that gun is actually very loud. That fake A47 is a pretty loud gun, I must say. Alright, um... I'm actually going to bring a grenade launcher with me because I don't want to take any chances. That's how I roll, and I think that is a very good way to, like, counter, uh, like, immediate danger. Or if it gets, like, super bad, then I'll you. Oh, wait a second. I know- A meek has my grenade launcher. I gave it to him. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch to him really quick, and then put it back. Okay, let's get you a, another gun.
I wonder if I should give him a 50 cal. Oh. Uh, yeah, he could stick with this. This is actually a pretty good gun to have. I was going to give him back that Stormbringer, but honestly, uh, he doesn't really need that right now. Alright. Um, so, carp. Bring your arrows and all that. Take that. Let's reload this. Alright. Switch back to that. Um, how is our vehicle? Okay, might need to take one gas can. That's fine. You have a little time left to complete your assignment. I know. Hold on. Okay, actually, come with me. I want you to be a partner in this. I'm going out. Won't be long. All right, <clears throat> Meek. Let's do this. <sighs> All right. So as you can see, uh. Uh, from my list of active bounties, the one that I'm probably close to getting done is the uh, Dismember uh, Plague Zombie Arms. Uh, the Burning the Zombies one is a little tricky. Uh, I would have to get like a bunch of them together and then just burn them at the stake like that. All right, Wes. has sent me to enlist your services. A bunch of valuables. I'm pleased to hear that. Have they made the AI smarter? That's my question. Have they done it? Okay, we have to go to this place right here. Right next to my base. All right. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Given the location, and if anything goes wrong, we just run to our base. Simple as that. Oh, I forgot about them. Alright. Whoa! Bad. This is what I was talking about. Ah. I have like haven't had to use one of these things for a while. Ah. Or I'm like never use this. Where? I don't... Don't worry! Alright, there it is. Woo! Jeez! Now the guy is seriously hurt. Now we've really got to keep him alive. Okay, jeez. All right, let's get inside the building. Locked or not? All right, I guess you can just get started. He'll open the door for us. Nothing worth carrying out here. <laughs> ah. Ooh. 
Yeah, Carp is definitely getting some more skills. Alright, don't die on us, West. We got you. Out of the way. All right, we got Plague's Edge. Now I don't know if I told you guys this, but um, before I did that recording session with my friend and made the last two episodes, uh, before we started that recording session, uh, I almost lost three characters in my community. Okay. I don't even know how it happened, but it somehow did. Uh, a horde that had, like, a plague juggernaut, uh, what the? Oh my gosh, these guys are everywhere. Um, yeah, there was a horde, Seems to be clear. it had two Plague Juggernauts and Plague Zeds, uh, it attacked my base, and this was, like, right before I started that recording session with my friend, uh, aka the last two episodes, and it was horrible. Uh, I almost, three of my people got infected because they all, like, ran out there to try and fight them, instead of just waiting for them to come in, inside the base. Will not be forgotten. Oh my! Speak of the freaking devil! Oh no! A bit much right now. Where is he? I don't know where he is. I'm nervous. I don't know where he is. Sorry! Alright, anyways, uh... So, we almost... Almost... Or, yeah, three of my characters got infected because they were stupid, uh... And, yeah. Those characters were, uh, Maria, uh, Tommy, and Caitlyn. They got infected because they decided to be dumb. And also, my friend was very nice to help me stock up on all this fuel, because fuel is something we apparently keep running out of. Or that we're losing at a pretty fast rate in this community. Hey, all this noise is gonna bring a lot of zombies. Just, you know, FYI. Uh, thank you, Emily. I... I mean, I've already heard that from you, but... Yeah, again, thank you. Alright, let me just get this reloaded again. I didn't think I was going to have to use this, but I did, because things got bad. Alright, before we head out again, let's just patch ourselves up. I appreciate you guys making me feel at home here. Boom. Alright, now we're going to help the Rum Runners out again. Get their ingredients for their mash. That juggernaut, though, scared them. Scared me pretty bad, because I could feel it. Just running around. Where was it? Oh, it, oh, it was there. 
Ooh, he avoided that. Then there's another one right here. Hi. So I want you guys to know your opinion on, uh, like, this co-op, these co-op episodes of me and my friend playing, like, either him helping me out or me helping him out, which I want to do an episode like that where I go to his community and help him because, uh, he just started a brand new community in the Nightmare Zone, so, uh, or, or actually, it's his first community in the Nightmare Zone, because he's already played in Nightmare Zone before, obviously. He's come to my uh, community, but this is his actual first run through the Nightmare Zone in his own community. So, uh, that's really fun. No more creepers. We're good to go. Alright, I don't know why I'm searching here, but... Okay. Well, it's not really anything special. More seeds. Seeds, seeds, and more seeds. Dante, I need to talk to Trip. Gotcha. I'm taking care of it. No need to worry about a thing. Travel to the infestation. Oh, it's right next to another neighbor's house. <laughs> These infestations or whatever just keep popping up near like either my base, one of my outposts, or just, uh, or, or the neighbor's, uh, safe zone. That's just really good. Oh, something else that they did in the patch for their recent update in this game is, uh, they made it to where you, like, throw grenades or something. They can't bounce off of zombies and ricochet back at you, which is really nice. That is really nice, uh, that that is a thing. Oh, you're not getting drunk this time. That's like a first. I need to slow down. All right, you're looking for a sack of There's corn, and I already around. know where it is. I'm gonna have to ransack this place. Uh, maybe another time because. There's a lot of stuff here we can get. Um, oh, hey. Oh, actually, let me just drop it so this mission doesn't glitch. I forgot to talk to him. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. I have the corn. Watch it, plague zombie. 
we've already accomplished. You sure gave us a scare. Come on, I'll take you home. Alright, I know what this Thank is gonna need. So, so much. Let's go over to my outpost really quick so I can grab the plague cure and then... So... Oh! I don't know, you guys were just hanging about. Okay, we got out of there. And we're fine. We're going to be fine at uh, the outpost. I just need to get over here and offload some supplies and grab the plague cure so I can uh, cure you. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and ransack that barn. There's a lot of good stuff there we can get. Did you not think to take the door? The door was open. Really? You're just creating a bunch of unnecessary noise. Alright, Meek is going to continue to hold the sack cor corn. And we're going to go back. You going to get in? You have the corn. You're the one who has uh, the corn, so we're gonna have to get into. Boom! There's a bloater. Don't want to touch that with the ten foot pole. I forgot those guys were there. Holy crap. Good thing there was a little, like, way I could get around that, but... Oh, gosh. That was a close one. Screamer. Glad that's taken care of. Hey, you guys magically repaired the fence that we broke earlier. <laughs> How does that make any sense? I don't know. It doesn't. That's... Stupid screamers, I didn't see them there. Oh, that's nice, yeah. We're all pulling for you, hun. We're all pulling for you, hun. We're going to make you all better, hun. Okay, medicine. I'm what injecting it in your magic? ear. So this might hurt. And I have your, uh... What's happening? Whatever you're looking for right here. Today's the day we all your sack of corn. Finish the still, but only for medicinal purposes. 
Good luck. Be safe. All right, we got some zom zoms out there that we got to take care of. Oh, well. See that? We've got a friend close by. Yeah, we do. I bet you can't catch me. Get him. Is this thing really not as durable as I thought? Or have I really... I don't know. I feel like I haven't even used this uh, weapon that much, and it's already almost completely broken. That's real nice. Um... Uh, oh, there's another house right here we can go check out. Yep. You better take care of it for good. We might actually find something good in here. Yeah, there's Zeds in here. I could see one in the kitchen. There's nothing here. Oh, a clown! You never get to see those that often. I guess it's better than nothing. Hopefully, we can find some more outfits. I would like to find more of some of those tactical outfits, which I somehow have not been able to find. Because those tactical outfits look cool, and this game won't let me find them. Like, come on, game. Seems to be clear. Let's head out. This oh place wait, is I have I totally forgot that I even had this. Um I feel like I wanna give her close combat as well, because there's only one other person in my community with close combat, and that's Caitlyn. I don't wanna use Caitlyn all the time for close combat, so I'm gonna give her close combat. That's also good if my if this weapon breaks on me, I can just use uh I use my little knife. Oh my gosh, you screamed. You guys ever stop screaming? Seriously? Meek, you're gonna die, dude. Kill him! If you just stand there and run away like... Yeah, they did not fix the AI. The AI is still dumb. Uh, Alright. Oh, we already searched that. Anything back here? No. What's in this little shed? Well... I don't hear anything lurking about. Uh, I was thinking, since I have that, uh, sack of... And that's all I have. What? Why is my morale so low? I swear, I'm this close to beating on someone. Yo, I know that was about me. Wanna come say that to my face? 
Underwood and Tommy are fighting again. Come on! It's the same people that keep fighting. It's either Underwood and Hurley or Underwood and Tommy. Like, Jesus. Like, we're in the green in terms of morale, yet you guys still manage to fight about stuff. Like, do you have nothing better to do? I actually don't need that seed. I need ethanol more than that. Alright, there's another signal. Okay, why not? I'm up for doing more missions anyway. I want to get a carp to become a citizen so I can get the citizens, uh, or the heroes, or, uh, I want to get it to hero so I can get the hero bonus, not the citizen's bonus. I already, she's already a citizen. Just got to make her a hero. So I was thinking, since I have that uh, extra sack of food in the back of my truck, I'm thinking about giving that to my friend as like a gift. Oh. Eh. No. All right, reload. Come on! It doesn't take that long. Meek! Hello! I'll do whatever it takes. Oh man, I'm glad I brought that. This could have been a lot worse Here, if I didn't have the grenade launcher like with me. Alright, this poor guy ended up dying. That's no good. Ooh, just he has good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna have to have uh, Meek uh, carries carry that stuff, because Carp has no room for anything else. Let's go with Stealth, so we can be more sneaky. Alright, she's almost a citizen. That's, uh, uh, that's good. Um, yeah, we'll switch over to you. You're almost dead because you're kind of an idiot. Alright, let's get back home. I think this is like the most I've ever used a grenade launcher before because I never really use them that much. It's because it's it takes up so much resources to make grenade launcher ammo. And then on top of that, it's uh, uh, it can uh, backfire. But I think I'm more inclined to use it now because uh, now they don't... The grenade launcher, like, ammo doesn't bounce off of... Uh, bounce off of Zed's like it used to, or explode right in your face if a zombie came up to you. So, now that, now that that is like not an issue anymore, I feel like I'm more inclined to use a grenade launcher now. So that's nice that they kind of fixed that. Alright, our morale is like enthusiastic, that's good. I'm sure glad to be home again. Alright, you can oh, be dismissed. Okay. I will offload your stuff. As soon as I possibly can. Not 
that at all. Jeez. Glitching Zeds. Ah! Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna give her back her weapon. Which gun did she have? Oh, she had this one, the fake A47. I thought it was like fake AK-47, but it's A-47, not AK. I apparently got that wrong. Um... Now we're carrying this, be on guard! She could dismember lots of zombies with this, so I'm gonna give her that. Alright, Meek. I need to switch to you, my dude. I have so much crap in Whenever here. I'm gonna have to like copies, start getting rid of some of the stuff. Like it's a little too much. The preppers gun is actually pretty good. Whoa! I'll keep the preppers uh, guns because those are actually pretty good. All right, there's another infestation, but it's whatevs. I'll deal with it another time. Maybe I should end off the episode by getting that juggernaut uh, to come to, to come to the base. Yo, dead guys. But I'm gonna actually help this time because. Yo, dead guys. Uh, it almost went bad. Like I said, three of my people got infected. So I had to use three plague cures. It was just a dis Holy crap! Oh! Double kill! Alright, I need more ammo. Though... And I made more 50 AP ammo. So I'm, I'm so glad I did that. Alright, we'll end off the episode with a pretty bomb ending. Like this. Whoa! Why are you going outside again? This is what I'm talking about. They keep going outside. Hurley, dude, get out of the mist. Oh! Okay, you killed the juggernaut. Meryl, leave me alone! Carp! Nice! Alright, it's still not done yet. Or is it? I don't know. I don't hear any more gunfire. I did create a bunch of noise, though, I will say that. But hey, I'm wanting to make this an epic ending. And this went a whole lot better than what happened off-screen. 
with like three MI people getting infected. That that was just not great. It really wasn't. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these back just so they can uh you know repair. I'm gonna give him that other 50 cal gun. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing though. Yeah, both the same thing. Oh, maybe it didn't get broken then. Alright. <sighs> okay, switch to someone else. Switch to... Jano. Alright, but that is going to be it for today's episode of State of Decay 2, The Nightmare Zone, Day uh, 21, is it? I think it's Day 21. Alright, anyway guys, uh, this is Mr. Panda Power 75 from MVP75 here. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye! What is up everyone, it is Mr. Band of Power 75 here, or MVP 75 here, and I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like, thumbs up, comment, share it on social media, and make sure you follow me on all my social media, which is Twitter, Twitch, and Streamlabs. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out!